Okay, welcome back everyone. Questine here with more lake. Okay, so we got letters to deliver. Uh, you know, honestly, with with these kind of things, <laughs> you wouldn't even get in the car. But yeah, you do also have that package over there. Uh, pick on Mortimer as well. And do a couple of other things. All right. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or Hold on. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning. Back I... <laughs> I've got a pet peeve. Returned the... videos that have... Yeah. Not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now, on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Fire breath and open sky. I'm gonna go get that package. It's where we go. I go wings and tell her goodbye. It's not what we think. It's what we choose to be. All right, it's Main Street that I'm on. And that's a big one. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? <laughs> Not about mail delivery at all. But still pretty compelling, especially for such an old movie. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. You're selling them short. Maybe. Just wish I wasn't the only movie buff around. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. Are you saying I feel superior to these rubes? Because, <laughs> I guess I do a little. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, well... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. <laughs> okay. Quite impertinent. Mm, maybe. Driven woman. That's all I can say. Oh, 
right, let's deliver the mail. So all the actual interactions between human beings happen, well. Here's your mail. Mm, that flickering is a bit annoying, but it's whatever. All right, one more mail, and then we have a back, uh, then we have a package there. Honestly. Like, uh, for all of this, it's just like, oh, we're wa let's walk down the street to deliver some mail. Instead of driving the car, but still. Is it this one? I think it's this one. That was close. Mm -hmm -hmm. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Everything is turning into gold Okay Uh, hold on Pine Street, okay. That's lighter than I thought. Nope, no answer. Okay. Let's get the cat. Autopilot, thank you very much. Alright, 400 Main Street. And now for an E Lakeview Boulevard. Let's go get that cat. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day.
What, the cat isn't trying to claw your eyes out when you put it in the box? Hmm, what kind of cat is that? A very nice cat. <laughs> Close. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say I would, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go autopilot, good. I was, oh, I was not looking forward to having to turn this car, this uh, van around. So I'm guessing they removed the auto, uh, the fast travel, because it kind of breaks the damn purpose of their own game. Hold on a second, so here I have a package, okay, okay. So I have two more letters in a pack, and this is the package. The packages are just the way of the game to get you to talk with people. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? Huh. Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? <laughs> you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment, but I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? It looks so different from how I remember it. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been 10 years already. 10 and a half, almost. Oh. Boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. <sighs> Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Mary. Time marches on, and eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. 
That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. The third time is when I'm gonna get my pie. <laughs> yeah, that's that's when uh, the fate of the pie will be decided. Okay. So, uh, let's go to the Weiss residence. Okay. Enjoying the country road. Very nice and chill. Okay, the game is okay. The game is not driving. Nice view there. One cat delivery express coming up. Look who's back. Mortimer. Oh, look at you. You're good as new. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. <laughs> yep, yeah, stop eating the cat the sweets and cupcakes and milk. It's not good for them. <laughs> All right. All right, do have one uh, letter after this one? Ooh. Interesting. Not so interesting, the postcard. Okay. Let's go. I just like using the autopilot to turn the car around, or the van around. Does Meredith even have a driver's license for this kind of van, though? So I guess I know what like the lake update did. See, damn it. I 
I have a feeling there will be a conversation here. There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bullcrap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Sounds like a great place to live, though. That view. If you want a nice view, take a picture. Sorry. You really are angry. You can't do a thing about the apartments? They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Yeah. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Food and drinks on me. Mmm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. All right. You don't need that armor. Mm hmm. Even though you wear it well. Ah, there's still a. Uh... Oh, I guess they they kept the, they kept the fast travel, but you also get the item pile of action if you just want to enjoy the view. All right, and that is it. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background... All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python... <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know... You don't really look the part of a computer nerd, either. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds. But I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? A nerd calling someone else a nerd. <laughs> there he is. Hmm. I guess push and pull. Mm, let's just say I needed a change of scenery. It's complicated, multiple reasons. Push and pull, yep. It's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean, for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Oh, right. I think I've heard of these. Never seen one, though. 
I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and... A nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? All right. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Oh, just have another cup of coffee? I'd love to, but I really can't. Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, babe. Okay, babe. Uh, mm. <laughs> right. So, Thursday evening. What do I have? Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad. How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. I sometimes postpone delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Okay. Hmm. Do, do, do. Let's see. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Nice laptop. <laughs> A prick would be lighter. Well, you can't have it all, Meredith. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it pours, but the mail will always be delivered if you catch my drift. Okay, so we got a bunch of mails here. Nothing too serious. The, the deliver the mood of B box to Lori, Moe's Diner. Uh, let's see here. Good. So outside of the movie box to Lori, there's nothing really too bad. Uh, there is um, one at the the farm, but again, nothing too 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 serious. Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. Positive or that P. Today's contribution is for Mildred, the senior authority on pets. Oh dear. Please, I don't want to hear Mildred speak. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Oh, now you're complaining about delivering a heavy package. Well, hello. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. 
<laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Have a nice day yourself. Okay. Oh, that's a... Let's deliver the mail. So we get access to more of the game. Take pictures, talk with people. Ooh, interesting. It's a nice slow game. That's the charming aspect about the lake. I had someone comment, it's like, oh, someone who started at MIT delivering mail in a small town. It's like, well, not everything has to be in life about the career, I gotta tell you. Or money. We big city folk get obsessed about those things. Prestige, position, social aspect, you name it. All of them boils down to money and career. Sometimes it is nice to unwind. Not saying those things aren't important. Just saying that taking some time off and enjoying the fruit of life is good. Some people go take a vacation. Other people, they work as <laughs> a <So>, mailman. <laughs> In a small town. Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, the um, the system there to turn it, the van around. Okay.
Let's see, should I go to Moe's Diner and leave that uh, movie box for Lori? Alright, I'm gonna have to take a left there. I'm actually gonna stop the car. Oh, thanks for not uh, smashing into me. By the way, that would have been on me. Alright, I am gonna stop the car right here. Because... Okay, Moe's, uh, Moe's Diner. Let's get started with that. Easy. Wait, oh, where's the package? It's this oh, one. That's heavier than I thought. Uh, let's see, is it the famous blueberry pie? Okay. Okay, delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Okay, about the other day. What about it? How did things end up with the moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon. But then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that move, but hey. As long as it gets you to where you need to be, right? Yep. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I... I'd kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize... It's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face! Your face. <laughs> 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 oh, Mo. Some things never change. Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, we got the farm thing, but, uh... 
He did say he'd bring all the paperwork. Either way, let's go to the farm. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it. No, that's not they're gonna be a good picture. I need an angle. Okay, we got the package. I guess after the shift is over. Right, let's drop it off at the Reynolds farm. Hey, uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farming. I've seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. I think it could use some more songs. Indeed, indeed, working on that. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Well, the rain is stopping at least. Maybe. Or the sun is coming out. Yep, the rain stopped. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting a metal detector here. Uh, I'm not a metal detector, actually. You're not? You kind of look like one. Oh, thanks. I've had worse compliments. But, uh, no, th this, the, the thing I'm holding is called a metal detector. The person using it 
is a detectorist. Ah, right. Are you looking for anything in particular? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but I guess that's part of the fun. Saves me from disappointment as well. That's a nice way of looking at things. Yeah, although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh yes, metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops, did I just reveal the world's best kept secret? <laughs> no worries, it's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be at our MDC later. A metal detectorist club. Nice. A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons. Buttons. Hmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. Good luck. Hey, Miss W. Got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, that last one might be too scary. <laughs> too scary. I'm almost 16, Miss W. I can take a horror movie. If you say so, Lori, I wouldn't want you to get any actual nightmares. I promise I won't get any nightmares. So you'll pick a nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love book. Scary movie too scary after all? No, 
Of course not. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's the love bug for me. Tell you what, take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. All right. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so I need to meet to Robert about the paperwork, but where would I meet with him? Let me try. I'm gonna try the diner again. Maybe that will work. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we shall see. Maybe I need to save and reload if he's not going to be there. I really hope I don't have to drive to the lumber mill. But we'll see. If he's not here... All right, let me try saving. Okay. Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two? Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. A roof. Yes. I promise to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm, sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than ten minutes. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. Oh, Maureen, please. What do you take me for? For a human being, of course. Don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now. I don't buy it for a second. Anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Okay, so what you're saying is there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know. 
Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I could go for a glass of red wine, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley! Did we get that wine order in last week? They what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks, but you don't sound very convincing. To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hard-working individuals, here you go. Thanks, Maureen. Cheers. So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Time sure does fly. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all. You know. So, thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Everything okay over here? Yeah. I guess. I, I'm not sure. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. Calm down, Steve. And what happens now? <laughs> well, yes, calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Hi, the tiger. Go get him, Steve. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean Paul has agreed to become the Okay, chef of the next downtown. time I am oh, going fantastic. for rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. Alright, next time I am gonna read the book. Because this is cringe. <laughs> no thanks, no more bon appetit for me. Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Hope you're enjoying the job as much as your dad did.
All right, let's um, pick up the movie box. Okay, so packages, packages, packages. Could be worse. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Dina Banks has the answer. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? It's this one, isn't it? Okay. Right, let's drop that box off. West 2nd Street. And we're in 4th. West 2nd Street. First, did these folks order? Well, I guess you, I'm guessing you are going to find out. Nope, no answer. Goodbye. Or you won't find out because they're not going to answer the doorbell. All right, so uh, 104th E. e First Street, uh, then packages, service station. Fast travel to the woods, uh, then fast travel, uh, deliver stuff at Bear Creek. Apartment buildings in the middle of nowhere. Well, it is a nice view, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go to the woods. I'm gonna drop off the general store because I can't use the camera anymore. Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. Right. Okay. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Oh, come on. 
I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Did you watch The Love Bug? Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. Uh, see you Sunday. <laughs> okay. Return that to Angie. Alright, package and mail. It's lighter than I thought. Hmm. Well, I guess nobody's home. All right. So we got another package there. Well, mail. So turn this one in. No. 
Hmm. These look like bills. That's one hell of a mailbox, I gotta say. Ah, I see. That's where the house is. <laughs> okay. So be it then. Okay. I remember dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June or both? to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some Rolling paper? Rolling paper? Yeah, you know, for homemade cigarettes that make you feel funny. Ah, that kind of paper. No harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? <laughs> All right, the authorities. Okay. Yeah, the SWAT team is going to be barging in in your RV any moment now. Doing a little bit of the weed, huh? Oops, left the package in the truck. Hmm, yes, I kind of had forgotten something. Dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Oh, easy there. I just did you a favor, remember? Yeah, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Best not to mix these two up. Mm hmm Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. All right. Deliver these two movies. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to swear free. Just as bad as you. And sometimes worries you see. But all is crazy, right? I'm looking for the brakes. Come join me in the search. I think that's what it takes. Oh. There he is, the man of the hour. Nice little boat. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Fine. Enjoy the dirty dozen, Bert. Have a nice day. All right, Saturday evening. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh, man, I had that once with Barry Bobby Lilacs. And the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed, right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? All right, Sunday morning. Add it to 87.
M, M, up here. Hiya. Should I just come up? Come on up. You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. I completely got what you just said, and I'm coming up. It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you're standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Mm, I can imagine Providence Oaks is less... complicated. Well... Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Ooh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff. You know, I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, we got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland, lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan. Picked up his shifts at the diner. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. 
The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan, but I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. They basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm. Kay? Thanks for the invite. I'm glad I came by. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? <laughs> oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was... good. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster Deal. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. <sighs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but, oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen. I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please, check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. She's about to be a millionaire. So, yeah. It's official. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You're welcome. I'm never going to sleep again. Ha, huh, maybe you shouldn't have watched the movie. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah, don't get me wrong, I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world, I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh. Well, maybe. I think... You should really give school a chance. There are quite a few universities that will let you tinker on things way bigger than just cars. That sounds amazing. But a homeschooler like me? Sure they would. And you know what? I'll help you once the time comes to apply. But you'd still have to study really hard. I can do that. Thank you so much, Meredith. 
for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later! <laughs> All right. Monday morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hmm. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Well... Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um... Yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. No, right? I am not lying for him. Seems Frank is in a bit of a pickle. Hey, Meredith, that guy you just talked to, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? I'm sorry, Frank. I, I just can't lie. I don't blame you, Meredith. They've got nothing on me anyways. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Well, oh, alright. Monday. We'll see you here. Sign out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications.